If you've been struggling to get your parks up to five stars in Jurassic World Evolution, then don't worry, because in this video, I'm going to give you as much tips and as help as possible to try and help you get your facilities and your dinos up to five stars. <laughs> Alright guys, my name is Bonnie Kimi and welcome back to a brand new Jurassic World Evolution video. In this video I'm going to teach you the best possible ways that I know of that has helped me get my parks up to 5 stars. I have gotten every park to 5 stars in Jurassic World Evolution so I have a, bit, a good bit of knowledge on it now and I'm going to try and share that with you. If at any point you're enjoying this video or if it helps you out, leave a big massive thumbs up. Also leave a comment below, that would be awesome and let me know uh, if it helped you and also what stage you're at in the game or what your favourite dino is. And if you're brand new here, please do consider subscribing as well and hitting that little bell to turn on notifications. I haven't said all that let's just dive straight into it okay so we're in my isla sorna park which if you don't know is the last park uh, in the mission there's, there's five parks in the mission i'll show you here my island navigation you see i've got five stars island rating is five stars my facility rating is five stars my dino rating is five stars all five stars <sighs> So many five stars, but I've, it took me a long time to figure out how this all works, and I managed to do it. And I'm going to share that with you. My island rating is five stars. If I go to my island navigation, all these are five stars here, five stars here, four and a half, four and a half, four and a half. The ones that are at four and a half is because if the slightest little thing starts to go wrong in your island, it will obviously decrease in, in stars. So when I've left those islands to go to another one, maybe a dino's died or a dino's broken out or something, a facility has been broken from a storm. It's, just, it's a case of repairing it and it goes back to five stars. But I have gotten every single island to five stars, except from Isla Nublar, which is the sandbox island, and I haven't even attempted that. I've done nothing in that yet. That's my next stage. But all these mission islands here are all at five stars. And Isla Sorna being the biggest one and the most difficult, definitely the most challenging, is it five stars? And I'm going to show you, I'm going to share as much tips with you as I can. So you can see my Isla Sorna Park here. Excuse me a minute while I just uh, resupply this feeder here. You can see so many, so many enclosures, so many hotels, so many shops. This park is huge. I'll take you a quick tour around it here. So many things going on in this park. I mean, to get five stars, you're going to need a full park, no space left really um, but this when you first start Isla Sorna it comes in this little bit here is built for you you have ACU center medium power station uh, I don't think you have anything here added design. and you have like a security center here and this little fence enclosure which is really nice and just the part is built for you as well now as you're going through the park obviously you're starting with nothing you have to build up your five stars once you don't concentrate on trying to get five stars at the beginning uh, just concentrate on getting your enclosures built, doing your missions, do your contracts and your missions as fast as possible. While you're doing them, you'll be building your stars up anyway. You'll probably get to about four stars on your own without really trying, because just building the things you need to do for the missions and contracts. But, this is how you get that final push to your five stars. Look at your island rating here, five stars. If it's at four stars, three stars, I mean, click on it. Dinosaur rating, facility rating. The first thing you want to want to concentrate on is getting your dino rating to five stars because I believe it's the easiest thing to do. If I click on my dinos here, you can see the variety is the, the big key. Your big dinos with their dino rating. My 20, I've got 26 dinos, a rating at 1775. The more dinos you add into the park, the bigger the rating is trying to go. But just actually increasing the rating of the dinos themselves will obviously make that go to five stars. So if you put big dinos in like in T-Rex, Indominus, excuse me, Dr. Dua. If you put Indominus, uh, T-Rex, Giga, Spino, all those kind of things, and they're going to be high anyway. But if you're going to modify those dinos' genomes, so if I'm in here and I was going to make uh, even the smaller dinos, just increasing any ones. If I go to Sukamimus, go to his modification, you can see the rating in here, okay? So it's like tw there's a, if I click on the dino here, we have 144 is its rating. If I change its skin, its rating's going to go up to 168, all right? 168 rating. If I then go here and add a bit more on, Keep checking the rating down there as you scroll through these to see what the biggest is. 197 if I do the increased bone density. One more. Don't put too much on because it'll be really hard to incubate and it'll probably fail. Uh, 226 for increased bone density. There you go. That's a high rated dino right there. Incubate that. Get it in the park. So do that with your dinos. Again, get as much dinos as you can. Um, get some big ones in there. Get a T-Rex. Get a Spino. Get some big herbivores as well. With the T-Rex, you can put little ones in there. Velociraptors, Deinonychus, uh, Dilophosaurus. Little carnivores can go in with the T-Rex. They'll live happily. Again, if you have like a Giga, you can put in little raptors and stuff like that. Again, they'll, they'll live perfectly. If you have a herbivore enclosure, you can put so many in there. Put a, 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 a Diplodocus in, a Diplodocus, a Brachiosaurus. Big, massive herbivores. Again, change their genomes, increase them up. Getting the dino rating is, is I've always, never, I've never had a trouble with that. It's really easy. The hardest part, however, is when it comes to trying to get your facility rating up to five stars. Now, what I found is hotels really boost it up, having the capacity up. So make sure you have quite a few hotels. I'll wait until 
If you've got your, my island rating has went down to four and a bit because I've got two dinosaurs that have broken out of their enclosure. I need to go and fix that. But anyway, um, I'm going to fix that in a minute. The reason my, again, it tells you in here, if you come to your, your island management, click on this, come to here, it will tell you what you need to fix, all right? So guest industries, catastrophic. That's the only problem in my park. It's now went down to one and a half stars, my facilities, because I'm getting so much, too many guests are getting eaten, <laughs> which is the issue. Um, great capacity, great satisfaction. Again, as soon as I trank these two dinos, that will go back up to five stars, no problem. But the biggest issue you have to look out for, if it says here, okay capacity, that means you need more hotels. If it says poor capacity, you really need more hotels. Once you have enough hotels in your park, this will say great capacity, and you know that's not the issue, you can leave it to the side. Great satisfaction, again, this is a bit more work. Dinosaur visibility, 69%. Transport rating, 94%. Food, drink, fun, shopping, all 100%. This will all jump up and down as different things happen in your park. But dinosaur visibility, increase that by putting more enclosures on your dino facilities. Put the big viewing platforms in, put gyrospheres in. You can see it's changed again, dinosaurs went to 75. This is just while I'm talking, this is just jumping up and down because different things are affecting the park. Dinos are out in the park. Dinos are loose in the park. So that changes the visibility for people viewing the enclosures. Anyway, food, drink, fun. If your drink and food rating's low, put more shops in the park, all right? If that says the food and drink's 44%, come round here, put more food and drink places in. If you go to enclosures, have a look at your, sorry, not enclosures, um, guests. Food and drink, gift shop, you can see here, puts three shopping on. Fast food puts three food and three drinks. So food and drink's really low, a fast food's really gonna help improve that. Um, the bar puts four to your drink, two to the fun, one to the food. Just, you have to kind of balance out. The ones that are high stars, so if your shopping rating, shopping rating is really low, then put clothes shops, a few few clothes shops in, because they put in four stars for shopping. So grab these, start putting them everywhere. So don't put them everywhere, but put a few in, and then check the rate and see if it's improving, what's changing. Um, another thing you can do as well is go into the management view. So here, if I go to management view and go to um, dinosaur visibility, this will tell me everywhere that my dinosaur, my dinosaur visibility is good or bad. It's good everywhere that's blue, is really good, right? Everywhere is blue, everywhere is blue, you've got good visibility. If it's red, if anywhere is red, then you need to try and work on it a little bit. Same, it comes from food. They get the hotels, uh, see I've got a bit of red here, I could improve that, but I've got a five star rating, I don't have to borrow with it, but I could put more food closer to here, and this would improve to help these guys. But everything's blue, all the hotels, all these viewing platforms, all these guys are happy with the food places that are around the enclosures, so keep that in mind. Again, all these places are blue. If this hotel was red, that would tell me that I need more food places closer to the hotel. But it's all blue, it's all fine. Again, with the drink, you can switch through these. Shopping, again, they're all blue. They're all happy. There's enough shops next to next to these facilities. That's the biggest issue. It's getting shops next to the hotels, next to the viewing platforms, where the guests are going to be. Uh, if you get enough items close enough, enough shops, food, drink, clothes shops next to these big things here, your facility rating will just shoot right up. So I'm going to, I'm going to do a little challenge here. I'm going to get my, my, my park rating is down to three. My facility rating is half a star. And in this video, I'm just going to go right now and get it back to five. And it's because I haven't opened my shelters for my guests and my dinosaurs are out roaming the park. So what I have to do, obviously, is track these dinos. It's my gigas because the, oh no, it's a Spinosaurus. Why are you, you, you made it far. Where's he even broken out from? Over here? Add two Spinos and close together. Normally that's okay, but the enclosure must not have been big enough and they didn't enjoy it. I'm going to open all the shelters. That's definitely going to help because the guests can get themselves to safety before the Spino eats any more of them. Jesus. I also need to repair the fence here, obviously, because it's broken out. Repair that fence. And I have two feeders that need, uh, that need to be supplied as well. Feeder, feeder supplies won't really affect your rating that much if you leave it, if you don't top up your feeder supplies, your meat or your herbivores feeder supplies too often, then they will start breaking out and that will cause more issues. And again, the dinosaur welfare will go down because they'll be hungry and that will not be good. But it, it takes a long time for that to be an issue because, you know, what? It's all, if the feeder supply is empty, it's because they have plenty of food. They've been eating that a lot. I'm just going to sell this Spinosaurus. Uh, because obviously this guy's not happy having a buddy in this enclosure. The enclosure's not quite big enough. This was initially my Indoraptor enclosure with a few, and I, or I actually had, sorry, I had raptors and um, I guess maybe a T-Rex in that enclosure initially when I was building the park trying to get the initial rating up, which is why it's not huge. Um, and again, the Spinos, if you're putting too much in there, they're not going to be happy. With they're, just, they're not happy. Carnivores don't like having too many buddies. They don't like, like having the same species in there. They like having smaller Carnos, um, just because they like to be the dominant ones. 
But once I get this guy tranked um, and then put back in his enclosure and all the guests out the shelters, I imagine the rating will shoot straight back up again. Let's get you back in here. Troublesome. And then I can open all the shelters up again because we've got no dino threats. All the little claws are away from up there. And I just need to send my ranger team out to supply this feeder supply. One thing as well, make sure you have a few ranger stations. Scatter them around your park, all right? Because this one only takes, it's, you know, he can get to these enclosures really quickly. If I was a ranger team at the start of the park, it would take them forever to even get up here. And I need them to come over here again and uh, fix this fence. Because I have an unhappy, no, it's fine. I don't need to fix the fence. I thought I did. I thought I had a broken fence up here, but I don't, it's fine. Uh, and my facility rating will just start shooting back up again once uh, or should give it a minute or two to get over the fact that so many guests were killed <laughs> um, because it says here guest injuries catastrophic shelter protection poor that will change as soon as uh, a minute passes and there's not been that many guests died because so many people died that was the issue there okay so my ratings are climbing again we're at three and a half stars Shelter protection has changed to great from poor. Guest injuries, injuries still stay catastrophic. That's just because in the last minute so many have died. But as soon as I, like two minutes tick over, that's going to change to none. And the range is going to shoot right up. Because look at all these percentages here. Again, pay attention to all these percentages. Uh, dinosaur visibility, food rating, drink rating, fun, shopping, transport. Any of them are super low, change them up. All right. Dinosaur visibility is pretty low, but that's because I'm transporting dinos back into their enclosure right now. So it is going to be a bit low. Operational hotels is five. On Isla Sorna, this last island, five hotels is what I needed to get up because it kept saying guest, uh, the guest capacity. If I turn this, this great capacity, that was only okay. Once all these are green, you need to get all these green basically to get your facility in five. Again, dinosaur rating, you need to make sure all these are pretty good. Okay, right, okay, well, for it. I could have a great variety, but it's already five stars, so I don't need to work on that. Okay, and we've managed to get our rating back to five stars again. Island rating is five stars, facility rating five stars, dinosaur rating five stars, five stars all around. And that's because guest ranges has changed to none, shelter protection great, everything is all high percentage. Again, just pay attention to that, everything's back in the green. And it's that easy. Um, I mean, it's, so getting your facility rating to 5 stars was the hardest part of the game I found. Dinosaur rating I got high pretty quickly because it's easy enough to mix up the variety and to add some modifications to their genomes. But again, facility rating, just make sure you have enough shops. Another little trick actually, sorry, lastly, if you go into your shops, if you're still not quite getting there, go into your shops, click this little tab here, you can change the staff, the amount of staff in the shop, what you're selling in the shop and how much you're selling it for. Look, I'm selling them for nothing. I'm giving away remote control dinosaurus, <laughs> remote control saurus, uh, RC saurus, because, because I'm giving stuff away. The guests are super happy with the shopping. So I did that at the end, because I'm making so much profit. I'm making like a million a minute. I don't need any more money. So I did that as an extra little trick uh, to try and get the rating up a little bit. So there you go. That's all the tips I can give you, as much help as I can, to hopefully try and help you get your facility and dinosaur rating up to five stars and hopefully get all your parts at five stars because there is extra unlocks when you get these things to five stars, so it's worth doing it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did or if it helped you in any way, a big massive thumbs up would be hugely appreciated. A comment below would be awesome. I love hearing from you guys. And also, if you're brand new here, please do consider subscribing and hitting that little bell to turn on notifications as well. Thank you again for watching. I will hopefully see you in the next one. But for now, keep weird.